Happy Monday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. As we gear up for a fantastic week of teaching and learning, I just want to say welcome back. Let's get started with the morning announcements. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. In order to do this, you must think about the three R approach, which is to be respectful, be responsible, and to always be ready to learn. Today, we have three scholars to celebrate. On Saturday, Talisa Taplin Nelson celebrated her birthday. On yesterday, Dante Newbern celebrated his birthday. And today, we have James Bowen celebrating a birthday. Talisa and Dante, we hope that you had the best birthdays ever. And today, you are granted a bonus day. Because throughout the day, there will be people wishing you a happy birthday all over again. Now, James, we are so excited that you came to school to share a piece of your special day with us. And we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile. Now, you know how we do it at the Hill. If you are in the room with Talisa, Dante, or James, I want you to turn, point to them, and say, Happy Birthday! 
In today's classroom spotlight, we are shining a light on our grade two scholars who were caught exhibiting all three of our foundational values of being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn when we visited their classrooms on Friday. Keep up the fantastic work. And our students in the spotlight. Today we are shining a light on our K through five step scholars who were caught following all three of our school wide rules by outside people. They were on their community outing on Friday and were complimented on multiple occasions for their great behavior. We are spotlighting Lauren Campbell Avery, D'Angelo Buckner, Denzel Brewer, Demaya Jamison, and Tristan Tate Matthews for making sure that everyone takes note of what is happening at the Hill. Thank you for being an example for all of our scholars to follow. On Friday, the audio was not working, so I want to reintroduce you to future published poet number one in our Proud to Be Me poetry contest. And our future published poet number one is Miss Kaylee Fortney. Kaylee wrote a poem that was entitled Nobody Like Me. And it says, nobody like me as I shout with glee from head to toe, even when I grow, there is nobody like me from my light golden skin to my mysterious eyes. There's still nobody like me, even in disguise, even to my crazy curly hair. No one else can compare to my originality in reality. There's not nobody like me. To the way I sound, no one can be found. If you look and see, I guarantee there is no one in this world like you and me. P.S. Be yourself even when nobody wants you to. Nobody can stop you from being you. Awesome poem, Kaylee. We are so proud of you. You may be a future poet laureate. I see some more writing in your future. Keep up the fantastic work. As we continue to announce our future published poets, today we are featuring future published poet number two, Mr. Princeton String Fellow. Princeton, congratulations. You are our second winner in the Proud to Be Me Poetry Contest. Princeton wrote a poem entitled Proud to Be Me, and it says, Proud to be me with my awesome smarts in my head, with my kind heart, with my focused brain. Proud to be me with my creative thinking. Soon as I get off track, my mind is sinking. Proud to be me. I am who I am. If I mess up, I will try again. Proud to be me. I am happy to be here. The world is nice, 
but this is a not so good year congratulations princeton we can't wait to see you published for the world to read your poem and we hope that you will continue to write in our school-wide events and activities scholars this is just a reminder that we will have our third nine weeks honors program on tomorrow it will stream live on youtube at 6 p.m make sure that you remind your parents know that if you were one of our vip scholars if you were one of our brilliant bobcats our double digit uh, scholars or our rising stars you will also be featured on tomorrow's honors program along with all of our scholars who had honors on the third nine weeks report card that is our principals list honor roll perfect attendance and citizenship scholars will you be featured we are excited excited so that means that on on Thursday, you will receive your certificates and wristbands for these honors. We are super excited to honor you twice this week. Once when we watch the honors program and again when we pass out your certificates. We'll see if we can get them all ready by Wednesday, but we'll definitely get them to you by Thursday. On tomorrow, just because we can, we are having another theme day. Did you know that tomorrow is National Two Different Different Colored Shoes Day? Did you know that that was a thing? That is a national holiday. On May the 3rd, we are going to, as a school, wear two different colored shoes so that we can celebrate National Two Different Colored Shoes Day. I can't wait to see which of your two shoes you pair together for tomorrow i'm excited about this thing i don't know it may be one of my favorites i don't know i don't know we've done two different colors we did mismatch shoes but we want to see if we can find shoes that look almost the same but are two different colors so let's see how close you can come do you own two two shoes that look almost the same but are in different colors that's what we're shooting for on tomorrow so let's see what you come up with now today is teacher appreciation week this is our first day in teacher appreciation week i want you to turn look at your teacher and say i appreciate you thank you for all that you do all oh, teachers now I want you to look, if you have one of our teacher assistants, our specialized educational assistants who are in the space with you, I want you to turn to them and say thank you because they are in there because they want to make sure that all of our scholars become brilliant bobcats. They are in spaces, any space that we need them to be, that's where they are during the day and we couldn't. Be prouder of the work that they do each day. So if you have a teacher or a teacher assistant or both, make sure that you shower both of them with appreciation this week. Now remember, you can make them a card, bring them a flower, provide them with their favorite snack, or just make ease or G's in conduct so that you can make sure that they have a peaceful week. Don't forget, Teacher Appreciation Week. Make sure you shower them like they shower you each and every day. All right, scholars, it is that time of the week, the time of the week where we announce the top three grade levels in reading and mathematics on iReady. Who will be the reigning champion of I ready in reading and math this week. Will we have a new grade level? Will there be a tie? Will your grade level be on the list? Let's find out now. All right. 
we are about to announce our first grade level in our all stars on i ready in reading for last week our third place spot the grade level that has the third highest lesson pass rate in reading on i ready currently is our grade two scholars grade two scholars you are on the ball you are in our third place spot this week we are excited to see how hard you are concentrating when you are in intervention each day make sure that you continue to work your hardest and if you want to level up you might want to shoot for an a average because in our second and third place spot both of these grade levels have an a average on i ready if you want to level up if your grade level wants to be on the list you need to maintain an a average on your lessons on i ready and you can help your grade level to get there congratulations grade two scholars great job it is time for us to find out which grade level is in second place second place on i ready with the second highest lesson pass rate in reading will it be your grade level how hard did you concentrate did you make a's on your lessons last week because if you did, you may have helped your grade level to get to second place. Let's find out which grade level is there. Coming in second place in reading, are I ready? Our second place all stars in I ready on reading are our grade one scholars. Grade one scholars, you came in second place, second place this week in I ready on reading. Now I know you might be a little disappointed because uh, your your streak has been broken, but I will let you know that you missed first place by only one percentage point. One percentage point. So I want you to turn, look at all of the scholars who are sitting next to you at your table and tell them we are shooting for 100 percent 100 percent because we want to be number one again next week the only way that you can guarantee that you are in that number one spot is to make a 100 i know that you will continue your streak on next week all right let's find out which grade level broke our grade one's streak and came in swooped in and took over the top spot i will let you know right now that this was a very close race there was only one percentage point between our first and second places this week so grade one scholars keep your head up you missed first place by one percentage point so i know that you'll work harder than ever to get your top spot back but let me tell you let me show you who you are up against this week coming in first place with the highest lesson pass rate in reading on our ready is our grade three scholars grade three scholars you did it you knocked grade one out of their top spot and you managed to swoop in and take that spot by one percentage point so if this is if you really didn't know every every score counts in the race to be number one in this all-star race each and every week think about it turn look at your neighbor as a matter of fact point to yourself because it could have been you you could have been that one student that helped your grade level to come out on top we are so proud of you but now you know now you only made it by one percentage point so you need to be almost perfect this week if you want to maintain your number one spot because grade one is coming for you all right coming in third place 
That is our grade level with the third highest lesson pass rate in the entire school in mathematics on our ready. Which grade level will it be this week? Let's find out if it is your grade level now. Oh, coming in third place, we have our grade four scholars. If you remember, our grade four scholars made a plan. They made a plan almost two months ago. They said they would make it to this top three and they did. They made it and they've been on this list every week since. So just think about that. When you make a goal and you set your mind to it, there is nothing that you can't achieve because our grade four scholars have proven that to us for the last two months. And here they are again in third place in mathematics. Grade four scholars, we are super, super proud of the way that you are persevering and concentrating and you are coming out on top keep up the great work we couldn't be prouder all right it is time for us to find out the grade level that is in second place the grade level that has the second highest lesson pass rate in mathematics on i ready is it your grade level how hard did you work this week hmm. let's find out so Coming in second place, are I ready in mathematics with the second highest lesson pass rate for last week? We have grade three, grade three scholars. You are on both lists. You are rocking it out. I cannot tell you how proud of you I am for the work that you are doing. You all right, coming in at other grade levels, yeah, they better stop sleeping on third. Third grade is coming up. They are leveling up each week. You better watch out because they are gunning for that first place spot, that top spot. They said they are going to get there. They can do it. They are working together as a team. Everybody is concentrating. Other grade levels, you, bet, you better watch out. They are coming slowly swooping in and leveling up each week congratulations to our grade three scholars who are on both lists we are super proud of you oh my goodness scholars there is a top of first place on i read in mathematics this week we have two two classes they have the exact same average of lesson pass rates and I'll tell you right now, it is an A average because they were working hard this week. Let's find out which two grade levels are in first place right now. All right, scholars, we are about to find out which grade level, the first grade level, in our two-way tie for first place in our Ready on Mathematics this week. Which grade level will it be? Did you work harder than ever on I Ready last week? Hmm. One thing I'll tell you is that the two grade levels that tie for first place maintain an A average. An A average as a grade level. That means that most of the scholars had higher than this grade, this A average in order for them to come out on top. So let's find out who the first grade level to be in first place in mathematics on I ready with the highest lesson pass rate our first recipient of first place this week goes to our grade two scholars grade two you are on both lists as well this week we couldn't be prouder of you i know that you'll be shooting for first place in both content areas next week i challenge i'm issuing a challenge to you could you would you can you be in first place in both reading and math on next week that's going to take some courageous concentrating for you to get there but i think that you can do it because if you can make it to first place in math you can make it to first place in reading as well hmm. i'm so proud of you i can't wait to see where you are on next week let's find out who our second grade level that has tied with you for first place this week is all right scholars it is that time to find out 
which grade level has tied with grade two as our first place recipients of this week's iReady All-Stars in Mathematics. If you remember, our grade one scholars have been in first place for the past 13 weeks. Will they make it a 14 week streak or did another grade level come swoop in and knock them out of the running entirely? We are about to find out now. In first place, on I read it in mathematics this week with the highest lesson pass rate, tying with grade two is grade one. Grade one, you did it again. You are on a 14 week streak in mathematics. We are so absolutely positively excited, proud of the work that you are doing know that you maintained a 93 percent average that is what it took to be in first place on iReady and mathematics this week 93 percent that means the two grade levels that tie for first place both had 93 percent we are super proud of all of our grade levels who made it into the top three on iReady and reading and mathematics this week we will find out about last week's winners on Friday of this week. I can't wait to see if grade one can make it to 15 weeks in a row or will another grade level swoop in and take over your spot. Now, I know you're not going to let anybody take your spot because you're going to be working harder than ever this week to maintain your A average so that you can be in first place again next week. Now, scholars, this was our read aloud on Friday, but the audio wasn't working properly on the announcements on the screen. So I just want to remind you that every day in the description box, there is a link to a read aloud book. So on Friday, the read aloud book was Dr. DeSoto. The key question in this book is what will a mouse do? when a fox walks in as his patient. When you have time today, scholars, even if your teacher doesn't have you watch it in class, when you get home, you can go to YouTube and find Scenic Hill Bobcats, and you can click on this book. I can't wait to hear about what you think. Now, today's read aloud is entitled, Ada Twist Scientist. It is written by Andrea Beattie and illustrated by David Roberts. Scholars, the essential questions for this story are, do you like to ask a lot of questions? Because in this book today, our main character, Ada Twist, follows her passion of finding the facts and answering all kinds of questions. Now, after you go back and watch yesterday's uh, read aloud or Friday's read aloud and today's read aloud, I want to know which one of these two books do you like the best. I can't wait for you to share this information with me on Tuesday when I see you. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats. Because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future. Together we must believe. Together we will achieve. Together we are real matter 901. How for today or teacher learning.